Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. This video is going to be part of my messy to minimalist series which I have started a few months ago and I've kind of been going through this process of minimalizing my entire home basically and today I'm going to share with you exactly what I did with my wardrobe because I would say I got rid of probably I mean obviously I can't know for sure because I haven't counted the actual items but I would say about 80% of my closet because it was honestly so stuffed in there and now it's so much more like airy and there's you know kind of a, more of a sense of calm in there and not just like having stuff stuffed in there if you know what I mean so I'm going to take you along through this process and I would honestly say 90% of the process is just your mindset and kind of getting into that mindset of you know what I actually don't need this many clothes um, and then you know like 10% is the actual effort obviously it does take effort to get rid of everything and organize it but it's so much easier to keep it tidy and to not be so overwhelmed by it all and I'm gonna show you the book that I kind of went through and I think it's the one thing that sprung this whole um, minimalism thing in me because I read this book and I feel like I've been having this itch for a while just to kind of get rid of stuff I was starting to feel really overwhelmed with quite a few places in my home like I think if you were looking on the outside it looked fine it didn't look untidy at all but when you looked in cupboards in drawers in things it was honestly getting so full that I was finding myself dreading tidying and just kind of keeping track of everything um, and yeah I just felt like I needed a change so I'll show you the book that I got so this is just um, the Minimalista book by Shira Gill um, and it just kind of walks you through you know lots of tips and um, kind of ideas on how to tackle each room of your house and honestly I am obsessed with that book it has really really helped me um, and she has this kind of four step process to getting rid of things and minimalizing and I'm gonna walk you through exactly those four steps in my wardrobe. I actually read this quote, it's something like most of us wear 20% of our wardrobe and like the items that we have in our closet um, for 80% of the time which is honestly probably so true or it used to be so true for me because I had this massive, I mean it's not massive wardrobe but I just had clothes stuffed in lots of different places in our home and I would say I definitely wore 20% or even less on like a daily or weekly basis and then I had all these other items that I thought were cute and I liked what they looked like but realistically they didn't really fit my lifestyle and I didn't wear them I would just I just had them in there um, and I did so many declutters and organizing videos or like organize my wardrobe videos in the past and now that I look back on it um, I realized a lot of the times I was you know kind of getting rid of a few things but not a lot and I was basically just moving this huge pile of clothes from one drawer to the next um, thinking I've kind of organized you know the the closet but in reality I was just moving stuff around I wasn't actually getting rid of it much um, and so it just kind of felt overwhelming all the time I was a little bit dreading that kind of wardrobe switch over you know when you move from autumn to spring and stuff like that because I knew there was so much to go through yeah I just had stuff in there that's been in there for years and I hadn't worn it in years but I kept it because it was cute or I wore it a long time ago and it reminded me of something I just knew this process was definitely needed for me and by the way I'm not doing this video in any way to kind of like brag about the amount of clothes I had or to make you feel bad if you have a, you know a wardrobe full of clothes it was just for me it was just getting too much um, it was overwhelming and I felt like it was taking up so much of my time to try to keep on top of you know laundry and the clothes and just everything like that and yeah I kind of realized um, I was actually chatting to my husband about this you know about the amount of clothes I have and how I'm struggling to organize it and I felt like maybe I needed more organizing you know storage pieces or just a different organizing system when in fact I just needed less clothes and I was telling him about you know how I feel like I have a whole bunch of clothes um, and I'm kind of overwhelmed by that and he was saying well you know if you want to we can um, add some of your clothes in this other wardrobe that we have in his office um, because it's kind of you know semi-empty 
um, and he was saying, you know, if you want to, you can use that as well. And it kind of made me realize, like, if I can't fit all of my clothes in that one wardrobe that we have, plus we have four baskets on top of the wardrobe, plus we have two big drawers under our bed, if I can't fit all of my clothes in there and I need an extra wardrobe, it's probably because I have too much stuff. <laughs> so. So yeah, that's why I have decided to go on this journey. Um, and the first step that I did for this, um, you know, kind of like going by the, that book, um, is clarity. I think that's what she calls it, clarity. And it's just kind of having a clear picture in your head of what you want, not only your space to look like, but how you want it to feel. So for me, my wardrobe, I realized I really wanted to feel calm and airy and kind of a bright space. And when I open the closet, it's not like, you know hangers stuffed and then stuffed things at the bottom and all the shelves uh, or like the drawers stuffed with things i just wanted to have this kind of sense of calm and air in there you know like space kind of like you know when you go into one of those nice little boutique shops and everything's laid out nicely and there's lots of space between the hangers you know it's not like i'm there a hundred percent but that's kind of what i'm aiming for and yeah i guess overall i just wanted to have to spend less time organizing and cleaning stuff in there, um, less time doing the laundry of all of those items, um, and just kind of having all of my favorite items in there, rather than a whole bunch of things I kind of like, or I think they're cute but I never wear. Um, I just wanted to have the things that I actually wear and I actually love. The second step of that process is to add it out, right? So that's the actual like bulk of the process. So I took pretty much everything out of my closet. I kind of did it, um, you know, a bit each day. I didn't do the whole thing in one day, which is what I used to do. I would just take everything out and then I would get so overwhelmed that I didn't end up going through all of the pieces. I would just stuff them back in. Um, so what I recommend if you are doing this process as well is to just kind of do little bits. Like I would take a drawer, um, take all of my like jeans out or, you know, something like that, one category and go through that and realize, okay, how many pairs of jeans I have, how many pairs of black trousers, how many leggings, how many, you know, of the same item basically. And then realizing how many I actually need or wear out of those. So as I did this with each drawer or each section of my wardrobe, um, I kind of put things into three piles. So I did the keep pile, obviously the, thing that, the things that would go back in my wardrobe. Um, then I did a donate pile and so I stuffed those in a bag and I usually put them on the curbside when there's a curbside pickup. Um, that's what we have in the UK which is so so handy. And then I also did a pile for selling. Now, I didn't actually spend a lot of time selling my items, um, except for maybe a few things that were, you know, just kind of nicer bits or things that looked really good or, you know, were still good quality, but I just hadn't worn a lot. And so with those, I took pictures straight away. I didn't want to have them kind of linger in my closet. Um, I did an out box um, where I put all of those items that were going to be hopefully sold. Um, and so I took pictures of those just quick and I put them on Vinted. I've been loving using Vinted lately, by the way. Um, I put them on Vinted and then if they didn't sell within two weeks, I would put them in the donate pile. So um, I didn't want to have them in my closet for too long because I think this is one thing you would, maybe we would think to ourselves, oh, I'll just sell it some, someday or I'll just donate it someday. But if you don't actually physically take it out and decide, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this if it doesn't sell within this amount of time, it's just gonna linger there in your closet, like at the bottom of your closet forever. So that's what I've decided. Some things did sell on Vinted, some things didn't. Um, so yeah, the ones that didn't, I just basically put them in the donate pile whenever we got one of those bags um, and just got rid of it. Yeah, so as I was going through the clothes, again, I was putting them by category um, and trying to figure out how many of each I have. And I actually had quite a few duplicates as well, like so many gray jumpers. And I still kept quite a few because I do love them and I wear them a lot. And I think being more minimalist doesn't mean you know, owning only two things. I think it means, you know, at least for me, minimalism just means owning the things that I actually use and that I love and that actually bring value to my life. And so that's kind of what I had in mind. And then I had a few questions that I was kind of asking myself as I was going through all of these clothes. So one of them, which is, I think this is one of the most common things you hear, but um, it's not usually, you know, it is helpful, but only to a certain extent. And it's, you know, is it something that I have worn in the past year? So if I hadn't, then I would really try to ask myself why that is. Um, because a lot of the times we would think, well, I haven't worn it in a year, but I might wear it for 
X event. I try to really think about the reason why I didn't wear it. I would also ask myself, is this something, you know, this item, is this something that I'm keeping for like a future me or a fantasy me, if you know what I mean? Like, you know how you have that in your mind? Like, oh, if I had this event to go to, this outfit would be really cute for that. Um, and so you have that kind of, you know, fantasy you in your head or if I were to go in an office, this would be a really cute out office outfit. But realistically, I haven't been in an office in so long because I work from home as a mom and this is just my lifestyle. And don't get me wrong, I love my lifestyle, but then why am I keeping all of these clothes that I'm never gonna wear? And then also keeping things for future me, right? When I'm gonna you know lose this weight or when i'm gonna do this or that i'm gonna wear this item but realistically if i'm not wearing it now i don't need it and in the future if i do get to a point where i might want an item like that again it it is very likely that it either won't fit me anymore or i just won't like the style anymore um and i would want a new one anyway so why am i keeping this for years and years when i'm probably never gonna wear it again and another thing that i was kind of thinking to myself is if I open my closet in this morning um, and I were to pick up this item, would I wear it? And if not, why not? Because a lot of the times I would have this item that I thought was cute and I liked the way that it looked, so obviously I kept it, but I would never gravitate towards it because, you know, either it wasn't comfy enough or it just didn't fit me quite right or I felt like I needed to have a certain, you know, top to go with those pants and I didn't have that and so I just never wore those, you know, just things like that. Like when you get an item, you probably look at it and you already have it in your mind, like maybe sometimes subconsciously you have a reason why you're not going to wear it. So those were items I just got rid of. Um, and yeah, I just don't, I realized I didn't need a closet full of cute things that I never wear. And going through this process, I kind of realized some things were actually harder for me to get rid of than others, which I think is normal. Like you will have kind of sentimental things. I did have like a hard time getting rid of some of my coats because I felt like, you know, I had a few of them and I liked the different colors or the different textures or things. Um, so I kept those. And I think that's one thing going through this minimalism journey is that it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't mean I only need to wear two coats and that's it because being too strict will probably make you just want to quit and not you know not go through the process at all so yeah i'm just trying to go through it gradually and probably throughout the years as i do this i will get rid of more and more but um yeah i just kind of did it to a point where i was happy with it at this moment in time but yeah it was just so overwhelming before and again i just felt like i was moving stuff around from one place to another from one organizing box to another but i wasn't actually getting rid of things and so it was still overwhelming it was never getting you know better um and that's the thing is every single week or every single month um if we think about how many things we bring into our home like how many cute pieces of clothing we buy but then how many pieces of clothing do we actually get rid of in that month um and if it's not like an equal amount coming in and going out it's just simply going to build and build and get overwhelming and that's probably what happened in my case and so now i'm just trying to do the one in one out system as best as i can but if i bring something in i really want to think about how i'm going to wear it is it going to fit my lifestyle like am i going to wear it a lot um and what can i get rid of to make space for that because if i don't get rid of things it's just going to pile back on and step three after i did the whole declutter was to organize right so just kind of taking the things that i kept and organizing them and having kind of a system for them um and the one thing i wanted to do was in my like the main wardrobe that i have it's you know it's really precious kind of real estate in your um like daily life if you know what i mean because i open that every single day and so when i look in it i want to have only the items that i actually wear on a regular basis so anything that was you know not something i would wear regularly um not something i would wear in my kind of daily life like you know formal things like maybe a wedding dress or things like that um i would not keep in there so i just have this drawer under my bed where i kept all of the formal things like some of the shoes i only have two fancy fancy shoes you know like a high heel shoe that i wear for events um so i have two of those one is a pale color one is a, a black one um and i think i have one or two dresses i think so i kept those under there 
and that's it like any kind of fancier shirts or like a skirt that i would only wear to events i kept it in the air because i don't need it to be in the space like the daily space where i look every single day when i open my um, my closet so now a lot of my shelves are actually kind of empty which i love um and i have a few things on my hangers just kind of some tops jumpers and things like that and then i have in my four drawers i have just kind of um some little tops at the top in the top drawer i just have you know like little tank tops um and vests and um a couple of t-shirts those little sports tops just kind of things like that that don't really go you know on a hanger then in the second one i have leggings and trousers and i tried my best to keep it minimal because i really really do not wear a lot of like jeans i actually wear a lot of leggings and being kind of honest with myself through this process really helped because realistically i do not need that many jeans because i do not even wear them like 90 percent of the times i'm probably in like leggings a comfy outfit um and just kind of that at leisure type of look on in the third drawer i just have kind of underwear socks things like that and then in the bottom one i have some um, pajamas and even with pajamas I feel like I had so many of these t-shirts that I would keep because you know I might want to wear them to sleep but realistically how many pajamas does one person need <laughs> so I only kept a few um, night shirts because I find them comfier especially if you're like breastfeeding like me um, and things like that it's just nicer to wear those but yeah I think I have four of those and then one set of pajama with with like joggers and a top yeah and so my system for kind of keeping it organized is to try to put everything away um, at the end of the day. Obviously, try is the keyword here because I'm not perfect, you know, I'm a busy mom. I'm honestly so tired at the end of the day with a newborn, um, but I try my best. And I also have, now that I have all this space in my closet, I, like the shelf under the hangers is empty now, which beforehand it used to be stuffed with jumpers. Um, and now I can put there my outfit for like the next day. So say I'm wearing a, a pair of leggings that I want to wear tomorrow as well. And you know, they're not quite clean to put them in the clean pile. They're not quite dirty. And so I would usually just fling them on a chair. Um, and now I can put them at the bottom of that, you know, shelf on my wardrobe and that can be my next day outfit if that makes any sense. And that we also try to do one load of laundry a day, like one full load. So um, in the morning we put on a load and we obviously leave it to dry till the night. And then at, in the evening, I try to put it away if it's dry, because in the winter it doesn't dry <laughs> the whole way. But yeah, if I stay on top of it like this, it's so much easier to manage. And also just having less clothes to manage definitely helps a lot. And then the fourth step that um, Shira mentions in the book is to try to elevate your closet, right? So if I have that clarity in mind of how I want my um, wardrobe to feel like, um, I did a few things to kind of help me elevate it and make it look the way I want it to. So I installed, or my husband actually, <laughs> installed these lights at the top of my wardrobe. They're just LED strips. Um, and they have this sensor so when you open your doors the light comes on um it's just some cheap ones that we got from ikea but they really really make me smile every time i open my wardrobe it's just kind of that feeling you know opening to all of the lovely things that i actually love to wear um it's so freeing getting rid of stuff it was definitely overwhelming at first it was definitely kind of hard to get in the mindset of just getting rid of things but once i did it it was honestly so freeing and now when i open my closet it just it's a whole different vibe if you know what i mean i also have an out box that i put at the bottom of my um closet so that when i notice something that i take it out in the morning or i can look at it and i think oh i don't want to wear that because insert reason here you know it doesn't fit right or whatever then it means it needs to go so i can just take it and put it in the out box straight away because if it lingers in there i'm just gonna forget about it and yeah it will just start piling on again i'm trying to be way more mindful about these things and obviously you can be as strict or as lenient as you want with this but for me i feel like i need to do this for my like peace of mind and kind of having that clarity um and just kind of not feeling so overwhelmed with my home and also one thing when i'm buying things these days i'm trying to be way more honest with myself like of course you will see a lovely lovely dress in i don't know h&m or whatever and it's a bit more formal and you love the way it looks and that's great but realistically how often am i going to wear it how well does it fit with my lifestyle you know with breastfeeding or whatever um and if it doesn't then i'm not going to buy it just because it's cute so yeah i have been definitely being a lot more honest with myself when i make um any of these purchases <music> Nights and late nights 
I do hope this was helpful. I hope maybe it gave you some ideas on how you can, um, you know, just kind of get rid of some of the items that you don't really need anymore. Let me know what you guys think about my uh, minimalism series so far and maybe what else you would like to see in this series because I am getting so passionate about this topic. Like, honestly, it's definitely improved my life and made it, um, you know, just kind of simpler and easier to manage. And as a busy mom, I feel like that's a huge thing for me. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments and yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!